Hi everybody, it's Mark again, and today we're going to do something simple, and so uh, it's uh, how to make um, a weight for your bellows. As you remember in my video with the George Cool Cuckoo Quail Clock, I used a big washer, and that washer was interfering with uh, the uh, high note lip bellow. So today we're going to show you how to make a, a, a weight. So kick back, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, grab a cigarette if you choose to do so. And let's learn things. If you remember, this is what I originally put on. It was this round washer, but it's getting caught on the... Uh, high note lip bellow so I'm going to put that lead weight on it I went to Hobby Lobby because back when I was in high school we made cast molds using sand and I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday and they didn't know what I was talking about so I didn't purchase no sand I didn't know what kind of sand to get so I'm going to try this here, I took my bellow top and put it in the ground and smashed it in the ground. And here, I did the same thing, except for I got a piece of aluminum foil in there. Because I'm thinking that... When the lead melts, it needs something clean, and the dirt might not work. So I'm going to try it with the aluminum foil. And here I have this pan with some lead tire weights in it, and I'm going to heat it up. I'm outside. I was talking to the guy at the tire shop. He says he does this all the time. To make sinkers but he puts his pan on a stove he said the fumes are toxic so i'm outside and i'm going to use this propane torch to do it so stand by and let me do it i brought it to the house instead and it's melting and i'm going to use that torch to keep it melting while I take it outside. Using the torch to smooth it out, I put this roller pin in the center. That way I could put a screw in. Hopefully I could take that roller pin out afterwards. As you can see, it's smoothing out. It cooled off while I turned on my phone to do a video. But hopefully that will uh, give me a weight to put on my uh, quail bellow. Just let it cool off now. I decided not to do the dirt one. And I still have plenty of uh, lead in my pan. But as you can see, it, it changes colors. And it stinks in my house because I did it on the stove. And these clips will separate as you heat it up. And this is just a metal clip. It's not lead. So it goes in the trash. But uh, anyway, you want a well ventilated area. I don't have a ventilation system on my stove. And my attic fan 
for my house, uh, which I used to use. It quit working, and uh, so far I haven't been able to find a replacement motor for it. Like I said, I put this roller pin in it. I smashed the roller pin so I can get a hole to uh, screw a screw down. And with putting the aluminum foil on, even though it's kind of hard to get off, well, not that hard. At least I don't have any dirt on it. You know, this is my first time making one of these weights. And uh, now to get the roller pin out, I already hammered on it some. But I should be able to pull it right out. I say I should be able to. With the proper pliers, I probably will be able to. something I can get a, get a grip on with. Almost out. There we go. So now I can put this on with the screw and that should give me enough weight it might be too much weight we're just gonna it's a trial and error type thing Now to get a screw. I said it might be too heavy for it. The only way to find out is put it in. As I suspected, it's a little bit too heavy for it. So uh, when you trip the quail, it tries to play, but you got to put extra weight. And I got to fix this bellow here. It doesn't sound right. But the good news is, is now the cuckoo plays because that big washer is not affecting it. So now I need to cut that weight I'm probably in half and then go from there. Well, I, uh, I cut the weight off. As you can see, I used a little less than half of what I previously had. And uh, the good news is Now this clock only cuckoos on the hour. So the good news is it's cuckooing like it should. I still don't like the sound of this bellow. And I don't really care for the sound of the quail. But That might be normal for the George Cool Cuckoo Quail Clock. Anyway, I hope you all learned something.
because that's why I do these videos just to teach you something I hope you all um, enjoyed the video I hope that you learned things this is uh, brand new to me I needed a wait I I did a little bit of research I talked to somebody who makes weights for um, for fishing uh, I used to do cast in high school but that was a long time ago you know I graduated high school in 1983 and so uh, it was a long time ago and I haven't made a cast since but I knew the basics I knew kind of what to do and so um, it seemed to work out uh, here's the weight portion that I got left over I could use it on another bellow if I choose to do so of course this side is smoother and um, so anyway I hope you all enjoyed the video it's just one way of doing things and let's recap melting this uh, you get the weights from a, a tire shop they're used weights no sense in buying them when they'll give them to you for free at least they did me uh, melting the weights you're going to need to wear uh, safety protection um, a respirator if you do it inside and if you do it inside your house is going to stink so open up the doors turn on the uh uh, a fan exhaust fan for the stove um, I packed the stuff in the dirt it seemed to work well I used a piece of aluminum foil I peeled it off so that aluminum foil prevented the dirt from getting in the weight and so uh, I did drill a hole and the other weight and I cut this off and as you can see it's nice and solid if it wasn't cast right it would have deformities in it um, I then took my torch and kept the liquid melted as I walked outside and then I poured the liquid into my impressions and I used the torch to smooth it all out uh, to melt the liquid I used a roller bearing to make this hole I smashed the roller bearing first to close it up and you could buy a whole package roller bearings at um, Harbor Freight for like five bucks let me get them a hundred and twenty piece kit for I know it's less than ten dollars it was like five or six dollars I got the roller bearings because I had something else in mind when I bought them, but uh, it used for uh, it worked well for this job. I will uh, caution you that the bigger the roller bearing, the harder it is to squeeze together to close up the hole. And you want to close up the hole because if you don't, then the liquid is going to go inside the roller bearing. Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to uh, see more videos from me. And it's free to do so. I haven't charged anybody one dime to um, to help them out, to give them a, my piece of information. And so um, may God bless each and every one of you. And stay tuned for the next video. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I do know that we'll learn things. It'll be exciting. I, um, 
I'm trying to recover. I went and helped out a friend and we were up till two or three o'clock in the morning every night and um, got up at pretty early compared to what I normally get up. And so uh, I'm trying to recover. I've been really tired lately. So um, anyway, we'll get into it and I'll force myself to do something. So stay tuned for the next video and may God bless each and every one of you.